Spyria puts the player in the role of a witch with an unusual arcane gift, the ability to treat a range of maladies and curses by entering the dreams of the afflicted to root out fell entities. This is accomplished in two phases. During the day, Thyria explores the dreamscape while fending off hostile spirits, a process that is primarily automatic and based on defenses set up in advance. When night falls, Thyria is attacked by more dangerous nightmares, which are fought by guardian forces in turn-based, grid-based combat sequences. For both halves, much of the work is done before the sequence starts. In between dreams, the player has a chance to craft and customize aspects of Thyria's kit. This means selecting and empowering the automatic defenses for the daylight sequences, and crafting, leveling up, and outfitting guardians for the nighttime fight. Everything levels up separately, leaving ample room for customization, but also plenty of opportunities to get lost in the details. On that point, Thyria is a mechanically dense game, the kind where it can be several hours before everything is introduced, and even longer before the typical player has a good grasp on all of it. Between the two different play styles, multiple crafting systems, multiple upgrade paths, level complications, and an assortment of side quests, there is a lot to figure out, and even the tutorials can be a little opaque. If you think you might be interested, it's probably worth checking out the demo before fully committing yourself to the game.